Hey guys, thanks for watching another movie review here at Cinematics. I'm your host, Jordan Ross, and today I'm reviewing Proud Mary. Now, going into this movie, I was really excited because it's very rare that a woman, specifically a woman of color, gets to headline her own action franchise. However, last year, we started to make some progress in that area with films like Atomic Blonde and Wonder Woman. So, needless to say, I was really hopeful that this would be yet another addition to the female action hero genre. But, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I thought it was weird that Sony wasn't aggressively pushing this movie, but now I know why it's not a good movie. And that sucks because it really should have been. The limited advertising that Sony did put out for this film sold it as this cool tribute to black exploitation films of the 70s like Superfly or Shaft. The trailers, the posters, they all had that specific feel. Even the title of the film and the name of the main protagonist took inspiration from other black action heroes from that era like Foxy Brown and Cleopatra Jones. But the actual movie is nothing like those films. Instead of a fun, campy, violent black exploitation tribute, we got the old tired story of the hitman, or in this case hit woman, with a conscience. Which is something we've already seen in recent films like Atomic Blonde which I already mentioned and the John Wick franchise. However, both of those franchises do some top-notch world building and have excellent action sequences that set them apart. They have specific styles and tones and looks, while Proud Mary is just generic and somewhat derivative. I mean, the characters, the performances, the script, the action, they all just seemed lazy and phoned in. I didn't buy any of the emotional stakes, and all of the characters and their relationships with each other didn't move me as much as they should. I just didn't believe them. It was all just so forced and inorganic. The bright spot of this film wasn't even its star. It was her much younger co-star, Jahi Dialio Winston. This kid was really natural and had strong comedic timing. The fact that he was not only able to hold his own but steal the spotlight from acting veterans like Taraji P. Henson and Danny Glover was really impressive. Hopefully he gets more opportunities to star in some actual good movies in the future because he definitely has a lot of potential. In fact, this just popped into my head that if Marvel wants to introduce Miles Morales into the MCU, this kid would be an excellent candidate. Who the hell are you? Anyway, this film should have taken a cue from its title and been more proud of the films that inspired it. I mean, even the soundtrack was dull. And Instead of scoring this movie with funky soul music to make it feel more like the films it invokes, Proud Mary's soundtrack was filled with generic action movie scores and undertones. The best moment of this movie is an action sequence set to the song Proud Mary, which disappointingly and surprisingly was the only time in the entire movie that they played that song. <laughs> It's also the only time that I had any fun watching this movie. And based on its subject matter and inspirations, this movie should have been a blast from beginning to end. It could have been like a more serious, grounded, and badass version of Black Dynamite. Hopefully someone else will see how good this movie should have been and make a better version of it. Anyway, I give Proud Mary 4.5 out of 10 stars. What did you think of Proud Mary? What did you think of my review? Let me know in the comment section. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media accounts, which you can find in the description section below. Thanks again for watching this movie review here at Cinematics. Until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross.